Okay, now, Shimshon, Shimshon, you guys call him, how many of you pronounce this guy's name Samson with a P in it? Samson, okay, we pronounce it with a P. Do you realize, is there any P in there? No, actually what you're doing is you're using the Greek pronunciation of this. The Greek has a P in it and it's come over into English, even though his name is, Sh uh, by the way, you see that S-M-S, Shamash means sun. So actually his name really means sunny. So Samson, if you were to translate his name, I'm just joking around, but not really. I call Samson Sonny. Okay, that's what his name is, Sonny. Okay, Samson, Simshon. Now, what do we know about Samson? First of all, let me just do some territorial things here with Samson. Where are the Philistines? Okay, let's do a classroom thing first of all. Sea of Galilee, Jordan River, Dead Sea. You guys are Jordan, you guys are Israel, you guys are the Mediterranean Sea. Where in Israel are the Philistines going to be? right on the Mediterranean coast. There's a low coastline there, they're gonna be on the coast. So that means the Philistines, the Mediterranean coast is out here, the Philistines are gonna be in, in here, and what happens is then, the Philistines are always gonna to try to attack the Jews, where? Where are the Jews? Jerusalem, in Israel. So the Jews are up in the mountains. So the Philistines will always come up into the mountains, but there's only certain ways you can get into the mountains. And so one of those ways into the mountains is up through the Beit Horon, upper and lower Beit Horon. You come up this direction and you come up this road. By the way, these roads are still there till this day. Till this day, when you wanna go up into the mountains, you follow these same roads that have been there for 2,000 years, 3,000 years. So anyways, this is the Beit Horon entrance. There's another entrance here. This is the Kiryat Arim. When I say Kiryat Arim, all of you guys know that because you say that's where David took the ark up, Kiryat Arim, up to Jerusalem. And so this is where David brought the ark up. Remember when the guy touched the ark and was killed by the Lord, Azza, Peretz Azza. And so this is the Kiryat Arim entrance. Now, where's Samson? Shimshon, or Sonny, lives right here in this area of Zoan and Beit Shemesh. Beit Shemesh, house of the sun. This is where uh, Samson's from. Okay. Now, where is Samson's first wife from? When he goes to get married, his wife is from Timnah. Do you see how close that is? So he goes out, basically Samson hangs out. This is where Samson hangs out. This is where she hangs out, their neighboring towns. And so Samson meets this Philistine woman, and that's when he goes down and does, and does the stuff with, with her, okay? Um, okay, now one other entrance that's important later on for us is the Ella Valley. This Ella Valley, by the way, do you see the town Gath here? Who's famous from Gath? He was a big guy, didn't like kids throwing stones at him. Goliath of Gath, okay? When Goliath of Gath comes and fights Israel, they fight in this Ella Valley. The Ella Valley goes right up to what town? Bethlehem. David's from Bethlehem. David comes down from Bethlehem here. And this is where David fights Goliath right here. This is how you enter. This is how, if you want to get up in the mountains, that's how you do it. And this is where they fought. Goliath was from Gath. David was from Bethlehem. And they fight in the Valley of Ella. So Samson, Shimshon, he's going to hang out right here. And he's going to meet this girl from Timnah. And uh, just some geography on that. Now, chapter 13, here's what happens with Samson. The, again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. So you've got this uh, rebellion and then retribution. Again, the Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. So the Lord delivered them into the hands of the Philistines for 40 years. Did the Philistines like to beat up on Jews? Yes, they did. The Philistines were iron, worked with iron and stuff. They had uh, the technology on their side. And they uh, would go after the Jews. And what happens is there's... Uh, there's a, a, a woman named, a man named Manoah. He's got a wife, and an angel comes to Manoah's wife and says, basically, you're going to have a son. And when you have a son, he's from his birth. He's not, he's not to take anything of the grape. He's not to cut his hair. In other words, from birth, he's going to be a what? He's a Nazarite from birth, never cuts his hair for his whole lifetime. By the way, she is even told, she is even told, don't drink any wine. You've got a baby in your belly uh, who's going to be a Nazarite, and you as his mother are not to drink any wine, okay? Which just means in prenatal care, you shouldn't do drugs, right? Before, you know. Okay, no, no, that was, that was a joke. Well, not really a joke, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, does this passage prove that? No, is she not to drink wine because 
it's alcohol, or is she not to drink wine because he's a Nazarite? It's because he's a Nazarite. It's nothing, you know, anyway, so let me get out of that. But anyway, sorry. 